Do you want the best stream quality on Twitch.tv like this? I'm a Barbie world, made of plastic, and I'm a spastic. If you did answer yes to this question, watch till the end of this video. What's going on guys? My name is Will Zignus. Today is the day that I'll be teaching you how to use OBS Studio for 720p 60fps, the best quality for Twitch streaming. So yes, we'll be actually doing Twitch streaming, so let's get straight into it lads. So, you, first of all, you're going to have to download this from obsproject.com. So once you go on obsproject.com, you'll be brought up with this. Literally press download OBS, press Windows 7 Plus, and then it should be downloading right down here. But I'm going to cancel download as I already have it installed. Once you have it installed, literally just go through all the steps and all of those. When you get the software, go to settings. And then these are all where the settings are going to be at. So, first of all, I literally, I just go on theme, dark. Because look, if you go on the default one, it's all white. It doesn't look very, like, just, it doesn't look good, to be honest. Keep that on if you want to record while you're still doing it. But all I do is just look at my past broadcasts. I have a video on that. It's my most popular video on my channel. So once you've done that, go to stream, service, Twitch, obviously, because this is a Twitch.tv tutorial. Then you go to server. I use Amsterdam, even though I'm based near London. But the, uh, the other day, the London servers keep going down. So now I just use Amsterdam, and it's absolutely fine for me. Enter in your stream key. Now the next one, go to your output. So this is what you, we are here for, streaming on Twitch.tv. So first of all, you're gonna have to press the encoder, X264. So this is for your CPU, um, CPU actual, yeah, um, it uses your CPU to actually stream instead of your GPU. Uh, GPU, yes, it is no hard, it's hardly no performance hit, but to be honest, streaming with your CPU is so much more beneficial for you and the viewers because they can actually see a top quality live stream. Next one, enforce streaming service encoder settings. So no idea what this does, but click it because it works. Next one, rescale output, 1280 by 720. Please press this because basically that like streams in 720p. You can stream in 1080p 60fps on twitch.tv. Would not recommend it because not everybody has stream options so they can change the quality of a live stream. But yeah, um, I just wouldn't recommend it guys. Really wouldn't recommend it. Next one is rate control. CBR, obviously. VBR is if you do not have a, like a really stable connection. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend CBR as that's a constant bitrate and it keeps your stream the same quality all through the um, stream, yeah. So next one, bitrate, 3000 bitrate. You're gonna have to go for bitrate. Basically, that's how many bits is on the screen. As you can see from a clip at the start, basically all of those clips was from one live stream. And yeah, if you do want to follow me on Twitch, it is twitch.tv slash wolfsickness. The link is down below in the description, guys. Leave everything like this is the same, so zero, very fast, none, none. And right, this is this is where you have to do some stuff. So, X264 option separated by a space. So, do open CL equals true. So, if you do have a NVIDIA graphics card, I would recommend this completely. Otherwise, you like it will be more stress onto your CPU. Yes, as you can see, I have an i7 6700. But at the end of the day, you you want to put as less stress as possible on your CPU when you're streaming, so you can have max performance on all your games. So yes, that literally takes about 10%, 20% of your GPU. Literally, do open SCL equals true. Use a bit of your graphics card. Very very good. Next one, I do recording. So literally. I only do track two, track three, rescale output, nothing, 8,000 bit rate if you want to know those settings. But I can do another video on that if you do want me to. Okay, so as you can see, I literally just used these little air earbuds pretty easy. My headphones broke, so I, I just use that. That's why it's called Realtek. So yes, Realtek HD audio second output. 
all you have to do is click that whatever one you do have so if you're using uh, like a TV default whatever you want and then you have to se select your microphone so I do use a blue snowball for all my live streams and all my videos so I select that next one go to your video so base canvas resolution 1920 by 1080 if that's your actual monitor um, your monitor size so yeah um, I have a 1920 by 1080 p monitor pretty snazzy if you do have a 1440p select it as that uh, output scaled resolution so this is when you do actually record your videos as you go on the output uh, you um, you have to do the rescale output as 720p uh, as twitch just looks disgusting on 1080p um, but yes, uh, you have to go to output scaled resolution 1080p uh, if you do want to record your videos in 1080p as I record all my YouTube videos in 1080p But yeah, um, that's all you got to do and then downscale feed filter to bi cubic sharp scaling 16 samples This doesn't really affect it anything unless you do go down to the eight samples one So I would I would not recommend it at all. Just keep the default and then common FPS values as we want the highest quality on twitch.tv. This is what the this is what the tutorial is for. I can do um, a streaming thing with the, like the, the very very bad internet. So pretend you have a 0 0.5 upload speed or something like that, and you want to stream. I will do a tutorial for you guys if you do have bad internet. So the next one, hotkeys, you don't really need to do anything on there. And advanced, you don't want anything on there. But if you are streaming console games, I would recommend to put this process priority as high or above normal. Basically, it puts more pressure onto the OBS, but um, you, you're not going to be actual playing games on your PC, so it doesn't really matter. But I would only do that if you're playing console games. Once you've done that, press apply and press OK. Okay, so I'm just going to show you all of the sources that I do have in my main source of OBS, but I can't really show you because I'm using OBS to actually record. Okay, so as you can see on the screen now, I have an event list, alert box, timer, most recent followers, loot, capogen, revlo, follow train, webcam, display capture, and game. Display capture is when I'm doing like a raid or something. And all of the other ones, basically most recent followers, you know my follow train at the top right of my stream. That's not working right now. Um, something's happening with Streamlabs, but um, hopefully it'll be working tomorrow. Streamlabs is literally down here. You load up a program. It goes bam, 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 bam. Oh, streamception. And then, yeah, uh, it's got all these files. And it says, like, who followed and all of that jazz. But, yes, um, all of those, who's followed. And then you can basically do follow trains and everything like that. But it's not working right now. So, um, yeah, might have a tutorial on that one day. Who the bloody hell knows? But yes, that actually wraps up today's video. If you have actually enjoyed this video, please do feel free to smash a like on this video. That'd be highly appreciated, guys. Haven't made a YouTube video in a very, very long time because I've actually been concentrating on my Twitch channel. So I've actually just looked at my twitch.tv slash wolfsickness uh, social blade. And every single day, I'm, um, I'm getting in between 10 follows and 50 as a max, but on like that that's only one day one of the days i got 29 22 14 12 18 freaking crazy how much i'm growing on twitch.tv slash full sickness so i just want to thank you guys for the actual support on my live streams i'm uh, I, I always say thank you just because i really don't deserve it but um i get i guess you i guess you like them yeah i'm currently on 1561 follows i hit 1.5k the other day and my Twitch is kind of blowing up, yeah. But yes, that is everything of today's video. If you have actually, uh, but yes, that is everything of today's video. If you have actually enjoyed, please do smash a like on this video. That'd be highly appreciated. Uh, check out my Twitch stream. I, I I live stream every single day. Normally Black Ops 2. Really enjoying that game. But yes, thank you guys for watching. I shall see you guys in a future video of mine. Peace out and goodbye.